Okay, for this problem, uh, we have three different independent events that each have prob that have the probabilities are 0 0.1, 0 0.2, and 0.3. So let's say the probability of A is 0.1, the probability of B is 0.2, and the probability of C is 0.3. The question asks, what's the probability that none of these events occur? Well, the chance that none of them occur will be the probability of A complement, B complement, C complement. And because these events are independent, we can just simply multiply these three probabilities, 0.9 times 0.8 times 0.7. And if I did the arithmetic correctly, that is equal to 0.504. So that's part A. What's the probability that at least one event occurs? Well, at least one event occurring is the opposite of no events occurring. So that's the complement of none events occurring. So A complement, B complement, C complement, the intersection of these three things is the chance that none of them occur. If I take the complement of that intersection, that's the probability that at least one of them occurs. And uh, that is simply one minus the chance that none of them occur. And so that's equal to 0.496. Uh, lastly, the, we want the probability that exactly one occurs. Uh, there's no particular shortcut for this one. Um, you just have to list out the ways that could happen. The first one could occur, and the second one could not, and the third one could not. That's one way. Or the first one does not happen, the second one happens, and the third one does not happen. And the last possibility is that the first does not happen, the second does not happen, but the third one does happen. And this is an or question. It's the union of these three um, disjoint events, and so I can just simply add them up. Okay, and so this is going to be equal to uh, 0.1 times 0.8 times 0.7. So the chance of A happening, B does not happen, C does not happen plus the probability that A does not happen, but B happens and C does not happen, plus the probability that A does not happen and B does not happen, but C does happen. And if I did the arithmetic correctly, that's equal to 0.398. And so that's the chance that exactly one occurs, and not surprisingly, this number is less than this number. This is at least one occurring. This is exactly one occurring. And so this number had, I'm sorry, I was pointing at 496. 0.496 is the chance that at least one occurs. And that is more likely than exactly one occurring because this counts the possibilities that two or three events of them occur.